Hey guys, so if you're brand new, wait. Do you like it? So, anyway. So, today we have a brand new Minimate review. Today we have the Expendables Minimate Series 1 box set. Yeah! So, this is the first Minimate box set based off of the movie, The Expendables. Being an action film. This is the first one, as I said. There's going to be a Toys R Us set to go with the first Expendables movie. And then two more to go with the second Expendables movie. Which has Chuck Norris. Cool. Anyway, packaging-wise, you can see it's just a normal box of Minimates. You can see you got like a skull in the back with bolts all around. It's kind of funky. And you've got the four characters. And two of the guns are missing on mine, but... Luckily... I have replacements. And poster for the second Expendables movie, Expendables 2, in theaters, summer 2012. Pretty cool. On the back of the box, you've got the name of the characters, Lee Christmas, Hail Caesar, Tool, and Mr. Church. And then, the Expendables. The Expendables are an elite team of mercenaries hired by Mr. Church to dispose of the dictator of the island, of Valinia. The weapon specialist, Hail Caesar, knife expert, Lee Chrisman, and Mr. Coordinator Tool on the job. It should go down without a hitch, but no job is ever that simple. So, let's begin. First up, we have Lee Christmas, who was played by Jason Statham of the Transporter movies. All right, detailing all around. He uses kind of a weirder kind of plastic molding. It feels a bit cheaper. Detail-wise, he's got a powerhouse chest piece, a vest, you can see that there's a little bit of shirt detailing. Goes all the way to the back, very cool. Face is pretty good, looks like him. And the hair's painted on. He's got a belt, and then he's got boots. And he's got a hip holster, he's a very basic figure. And, yes, he does have chest detailing underneath. So there you go. Doesn't really match up though with the arms, which is a shame. So articulation wise, Lee Christmas can do all the normal Minimate things. Nothing is prohibited. So that's good. Now accessory wise, he was supposed to come with at least according to the packaging, a pistol and an assault rifle, but those were somehow missing from my set, and I had an extra pistol and an extra assault rifle, so it's all good. Now he can fit into his holster, which is a reuse of the ones from the Cap movie. So there you go. And he can hold the assault rifle, which is a claw killer, sadly enough. So, there you go. Overall, Lee Christmas is an alright figure. Next up, we have... Hail Caesar. Get it? It's like Caesar Augustus. Get it? Get it? Ha 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 ha? Ugh. So, Caesar, as I guess you're pronouncing him, because I don't think you would call him Hail, is played by Terry Crews, who was in... The Get Smart remake, Bridesmaids, and a TV show called Everybody Hates Chris. Is it like Everybody Loves Raymond? I don't know. Anyway, detail-wise, this guy's pretty cool. He's got the exact same base outfit as Mr. Christmas. Same, actually he's got the same lower body and crotch up. But the chest is a bit different, same powerhouse chest piece, but with a little bit of different detailing. Arms, you can see he's actually got a tattoo. That actually, you can see it has the word expendables on it, or expendable, and a skull. You probably can't see it though, since he's got the Ghostbusters shoulder thing, or elbow things on him. It does have sleeveless, uh, fingerless gloves. And very cool. And then you can also see he's got a hat, which is a reuse of Chef Duff 
if everybody if anybody remembers that set. You can wear it like that and be like, yo dog, I'm a rapper now. But he is meant to have it backwards. Anyway, other than that, he does have chest detailing. Of him shirtless. Not sure why you'd want him shirtless, but there you go. Actually, a really funny story. When I got him in a, out of package, not only was his chest on backwards, his torso piece was too. It was really weird. But there you go. Now, accessory-wise, Mr. Caesar comes with, at least according to the package, he's supposed to have a handgun. But according to a lot of promo art I've seen, he has a grenade launcher as well. Which, of course, he can hold. Being all he uses, the grenade launcher being from Terminator 2 Wave 2. Very nice. Overall, Hail Caesar is a pretty good figure. I like it. Next up, we have Mr. Church. Now, Mr. Church is played by Bruce Willis. Yay! I don't care for Bruce Willis, actually. He's okay, I guess. A little overrated, in my opinion. That's just me. Figure's good, though. It definitely looks like Bruce Willis. It is a little pale, though, the face. Kind of weird. But I guess it's the plastic they were using. You can see that there's some chest detailing, aside from the suit. Speaking of which, I'm going to point out that this figure is basically a redo of the Tuxedo Tony Stark that was included in Iron Man Wave 2. Or at least Iron Man 2, the Toys R Us wave. Speaking of which, this is one of my favorite mini-mates ever. If you want a good mini-mate, look out for this guy. He is the Mark I, but this is the alternate look. Beautiful. Also, his hand comes off a lot. But yeah, he's just a guy in a black suit, okay? I guess all you're paying for is the Bruce Willis. Anyway, articulation-wise, he does do all the normal mini-mate things. Nothing being prohibited, so that is good. Now, accessory-wise, this is where this guy gets a little interesting. Packaging says he comes with two handguns, being the older Minimate style, which I'm surprised. But he's supposed to hold these. The problem is, though, in the movie, he was in for about five minutes and didn't shoot a thing. So, yeah, he's not actually supposed to come with anything. Weird. Anyway, Mr. Church is an okay-ish figure. If you're a fan of Bruce Willis, I'm sure you'll get a kick out of him. If you drill a hole in his head, put a hairpiece on, you'll have John McClane. Woo. So, finally we have Tool. Tool is portrayed by Mickey Rourke, who has actually had a mini-mate before in the Iron Man 2 wave, being Whiplash. And it's the exact same hair, piece and coloring. Very cool. So, very good likeness to Mickey Rourke. He looks mad, and he has glasses. His hair is a little raised for some reason. I don't know if that's supposed to be with every figure. He's got a really weird outfit. He's got like a button-up t-shirt, or a button-up shirt, where the paint does not go all the way around. But it's unbuttoned, and he's got a vest over it. Kind of weird. And he's got pants and boots. So that is a pretty interesting looking outfit. I will be using this guy for a lot of custom pieces since I always loved getting many mini mate vests. Anyway, articulation wise, Tool can do all in one mini mate things. Yep, nothing is prohibited. And according to the picture on the back, comes with a knife. Now, as with it, as with Mr. Church, he does not actually appear in the movie other than for about five minutes as a guy at a tattoo parlor. So what I did is I put him to the side, and I'm giving his knife to Mr. Christmas, who, according to the package, is their knife's expert. So, bam. Knife. Overall, Tool is an okay figure. So, now you may be wondering, well, hey, why else would I buy this set? 
Well, aside from what I showed off with the figures, the set comes with an extra assault rifle, an extra assault rifle with grenade launcher, a shotgun, a revolver, and two handguns. And then that's not counting what the normal set comes with. So, in all technicality, with every figure in the set, you're getting a lot of guns. And if you're not like me and you end up do getting every gun in the set, you will get a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 guns, and one knife. So that's a great deal. Especially if you're helping your SWAT guys. So, cool. So that was the Expendable Series 1 box set. A pretty good box set. I like the two actual Expendables. I like the actual two Expendable guys. I guess Bruce Willis is okay, and Mickey Rourke's character is a very interesting civilian. I'll use it for a lot of spare parts. I can't wait for the next set because it's going to have Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Which, I hate wrestling, but... Hey, you get more guns, so that's always a plus. Lots of great customizing ideas here, especially if you want to use the characters for their other movies they were in, like Die Hard, Iron Man 2, oh wait, whatever he's in, and Transporter, Crank, and all the stuff he's in. So, overall, pretty good. Anyway, did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.